No sooner have you rung the ornate bell than the face of a lizard woman surfaces from behind a rock up on the ledge before you. Her stare is as sharp as the bolt eyeing you from atop her crossbow. Stand back, kinsman, and keep your hands off your weapons. Convince me you're no magister or draw one last deep breath. But... but it is you, isn't it? The Red Prince. My word. It is imperative that we talk, your majesty. With one graceful motion, the lizard throws down a tangled mess of vines for you to climb. Come, Prince. Ascend to the Sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but surely you are its most honored one.
Be welcome to this sanctuary. Amadia's eye in the storm. You were fortunate, Your Majesty, to have found this place. Fortunate to have found me. And you have found her. Her eyes grow misty, and for a moment it looks like she's about to hug you, but thinks better of it. Oh, sweet prince, if I think of the perils you have faced, of the indignities you've had to suffer. But know that I, like you, will do all in my power to find your way home once more, unto the very throne. Thank you, Your Majesty, but the honor of partaking in your destiny is all the reward I desire. We both know why you've come. We both know where I must take us. The dark, the dark, the dangerous dark. Dream with me, my lord. Dream with me. Her skin is warm against yours. Her breathing a sea that lures. You plunge and sink, you drown in her maelstrom eyes. Darkness. A hand pressed in yours, tugging you along. You slow down, only to realize there are things in this unnatural darkness. They slither behind you, catch up, and bite. You move through the absolute black, whipped sore by unseen tendrils. Then, suddenly, in the distance, a streak of red, as if a gargantuan dragon opens a solitary eye. Bahara yells forward, pushing you savagely towards the light. Then, the tendrils have her, and she screams. Never has there been a crueler silence. You run. You run with all you have. The red eye widens. A solitary sun. Run, red, run, then white. A lazy red once more. A desert camp at sunset. Amid the carpets and perfumed waters stands a lizard dreamer dressed in royal silks. Welcome be, Red Prince, to the haven in the horror. I only wish you hadn't faltered near the end, hadn't lost her. She led our son through the darkness. I shall mourn the passing of Bahara. May they soothe her spirit, one now with nightmare. With a polite gesture, the dreamer bids you make yourself comfortable. Wine and delicacies await. Red Prince, Your Majesty, I am Brahmos the Wanderer leader of the House of Dreams and, unbeknownst to you, your greatest champion. Countless times since your birth have I, and so many dreamers with me, foiled the attempts of your enemies to assassinate your royal person. Until we failed. The last demon you summoned, for power's sake and for lust's sake, she was indebted to those who seek your demise. Of this we had no knowledge. But for the might of your own magic, the House of Shadows would have finally had its way. But for your own awing strength, the day would have ended with your death instead of your downfall. A role I'll continue to play until the day I die, Your Majesty. I swear it. All we know is that the House of Shadows seeks to kill you. Their motives are as obscure as their very existence. But I surmise it has something to do with another obscure existence. 
hers. He looks aside, and where his eyes lead, a second figure appears. It is she, the secret of your soul, the unknown woman, as red-skinned as yourself. She who's been in your dreams since the sunburst that was your own dawn. She is change, just as much as you are. She is the true crown, the true throne, the true empire, vast as the star's domain. Find me, and I will guide you to her. To Reaper's Coast I'll go, and hide in the mist beneath the hamlet of Driftwood. Come meet me, Kindler, Shaper, Father, and wake, awake.
So long as Gareth returns, we Don't will be. Worry, Jules. Sure you would be. Samadel, this is the one I told you about. Focus on your breathing, Jules. Slow and deep. The disheveled lizard eyes you with hope, though her hope is tinged with mistrust. Han tells me you helped him out of Fort Joy. For that, you have my thanks. We helped each other. That's what sorcerers need to do nowadays. Can I ask if... Did you happen to meet a man named Gareth on your way here? He... he'll be back, Samadel. I know he will. He has to. He has to, indeed. We need our leader. And if he doesn't return with help soon, we haven't a hope. Have you... have you heard of Shriekers? Han looks down with a flinch. Samadel reaches out, grasping his hand. Her jaw tightens. They're weapons that can, can kill with a screech. The Magisters patchwork them from living sorcerers. Don't misunderstand me. We are not afraid to fight, but we are powerless against Treekers. The priestess at the shrine told Gareth some ancient secrets, some defences that could be found in Brachus's armory, and he went there in the hopes of finding it, whatever it is. You're kind to offer, but you'd best talk to Gareth's squire, Exeter. He'll know where your talents can be most used. Now, Han, let's take a look at your nasty leg injury. Catch you later, Skipper. It, it's good you're here. Away. Latest, the wound is oh. <sighs> I swear, 
see to the others. Still with us. The lizard holds a crimson-soaked rag against his side. He looks up as you approach, his expression oddly serene. Can you hear me? Please! Take the pain away! They found our camp near the old harbour and unleashed hell upon us. I'm lucky in a way. I was wounded by an arrow. It wasn't just sword and spear the Magisters used on us. No, they had these weapons. Living beings, depleted of source and crucified, pathetic to look at until... until... the power that they unleashed. There was nothing we could do. Only run. Shriekers, they're called. I can still hear that sound they uttered. Makes my scales crawl. Sir Gareth is looking for a way to defeat them now. Let us hope he finds it. Focus on your breathing, James. The lizard's eyes are now closed, while his breathing is ragged and shallow. He doesn't react to you. Let me change your dressing. I'm fine. I swear. See to the others. Matis, the wound is festering. It needs to be changed. I'm fine. I swear. See to the others. Matis, the wound is festering. It needs to be changed. Take the pain away. I will not be a 
Leave me be. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. A young man in oversized armor paces around a table covered with a spread of maps, his face a tight scowl of frustration. Wished Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. Please, Armada. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please, please come back. Wished Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Wished Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. And protect your humble servant. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. 
So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams. Echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Please, Armadio, bless and protect your humble servant. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you Gareth, cry. Please come back. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. And protect your humble head. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Every approach blocked. Oh, damn it! What good are battle tactics against those things anyway? He glances up. In quick succession, he becomes aware of both your presence and the fact that you're not a familiar face. Who the blazes are you? My word, I never met a royal before. On the run from Fort Joy, are you? A seeker can always recognize a sorcerer when they see one. You meant Verdus. Then he's as good as dead. We're the Seekers he spoke of. We were supposed to free him. Instead, we've failed him. You, a Godwoken? Surely not. Though if Verdus said so, you could be important. But there's no way to be certain until we've left this blasted island behind us. Verdus... Verdus was Godwoken. He was a powerful sorcerer in the vein of Lucian the Divine. He had the potential to succeed Lucian if he mastered his powers. But now that won't happen. If you're the same as Verdus, then we have to get you away from this place. Someone's been killing the few Godwoken that are out here. Likely that dog Alexander. He's a Godwoken too. A failed one, as far as I'm concerned. I can imagine he won't want any upstart Godwoken taking what he figures to be his birthright. The young man anxiously fidgets with his curved bow. You've found a matter close to his heart, evidently. That's... that's easier said than done, I'm afraid. Much easier said. Yet the Magisters have us cornered. They have these... weapons, called Shriekers. If we try to go against them unprepared, we're dead. We've lost many already. Seekers, well, we guard the true principles of Lucian. There are sorcerers who can follow in his path and become divine, Godwoken. We seek them out and protect them. Verdus was a Godwoken, our best hope. Our last hope, most likely. We tried to free him. But we failed. 
Now all we can do is flee. The Shriekers block all escape routes, though. We can't get off this island until we get past them. They were sorcerers once, but after whatever perversions the Magisters subjected them to, they're death incarnate. If they can see you, they can kill you. Instantly. After we retreated here, our leader, Sir Gareth, set out looking for some ancient weapons that could counter those things. Then we could break the Magister blockade and escape this island. But he hasn't returned. If Sir Gareth doesn't come back with those weapons in tow, well, this island will be our grave. The young man throws a furtive glance towards the shrine looming out of the water nearby, then leans in to whisper. The masked priestess, Gratiana. She gave us shelter here and told Sir Gareth how to stop the Shriekers. But she unnerves me. Speak to her if you wish. She may know more. Sir Gareth? He's the finest seeker I know. I'm honoured to serve as his squire. He wouldn't let us down. Not unless something's gone horribly wrong. You'll, you'll help us? His shoulders visibly relax, the weighty armour upon them settling with a clink. Thank you. Allies are in short supply in this place. If you help us, I promise we'll get you as far away from this place as possible. Please ask, whatever helps. None. He set out to find those source weapons and that's the last we saw of him. The Magister flagship, the Lady Vengeance, she's anchored at the old harbour. Once the way is clear, we're to take her and get the hell out of here.